Hello and welcome back to EV Swap. I'm Jimmy and I'm a car enthusiast. I love cars of all types, but here at EV Swap, we take cars that are gas and convert them to electric. Let's get started. So the big news this week is we got the pieces cut for our battery box for the Frontier. So you can see all these aluminum panels. I've got some quarter inch aluminum here and eighth inch aluminum here. And we've got a bunch of panels, all the side panels, these with the bands are the, are the top panels, and these are end panels. So uh, we got all of them back. <laughs> so now we have to start assembling the battery box. Um, this is pretty cool. We're gonna be building the box like, like that, put all the pieces around it. I'm gonna uh, use a welder and weld the plates so that everything is nice and tough and waterproof and uh, totally solid. Also, we saved ourselves some time and we got some of these uh, holes pre-cut. So like this one will go down. We need to get the die grinder in there, but you can see the holes all line up. This one will be for the BMS plug. So this is one of the end panels where the contactors will be. So this is one of the top panels and all these slots will be allow me to bend the sides over and bend in the middle here and then uh, fold these over real nice and straight and then all of these holes are for hardware for bolts to go through to uh, bolt into riv nuts which i'm going to install on the other side but it has a cut out here for the service disconnect you can see how nice that fits in there super cool so that's it. Uh, this is what I'm going to be working on this coming week. We're going to have to clean this up, all of this little splatter and stuff. We'll clean it up. We'll get all these bent. After I bend these, I will weld all of these gaps um, just to get the strength and the waterproofness back. We have the nice thick quarter inch aluminum bottom plates. That, that's what all of the battery weight is going to sit on is those. So uh, everything should be really beefy and heavy duty. This is uh, 5052 aluminum, which I've been recommended to me for battery boxes. Uh, just the properties seem like it's a good fit for a battery box. So we got these cut out at Electromod Garage up in Rollinsville. So big thank you to Woody. Thanks for helping me out with that. It's just massive time save uh, to be able to use that machine. Here's some of the pieces. You can see where it cut it out of the big sheet. And this is how we get all our pieces from a big eight foot piece of aluminum like this. So that kind of is the big update for this week. We have a little bit of a small update. We got the cooling system all plumbed. We have the fan. This is the fan from the Nissan Leaf or one of the fans from the Nissan Leaf that uh, we trimmed off of the other fan. The other fan was all smashed and broken, but this one was still functional. So we got that mounted to the radiator, the Frontier radiator. We have our reduction adapter hoses um, so that we can plumb in all the way to the motor, the motor stack, the reservoir. And I'm waiting on hose clamps for this three quarter inch tubing because the hose clamps we bought are not three quarter inch. It says on the packet that it's actually goes up to seven eighths inch, but they're not big enough. So send those back and get some new ones. But things are under the hood are just about finished up. Um, just some small buttoning down of the, the final details once we get there. Also, Dave went ahead and we got new headlights and turn signals. So we're going to put those on at the end when everything else is kind of already done so we don't damage them. So that about does it again on the Frontier this week. Uh, stay tuned. Hopefully next week we'll have the battery boxes at least partially assembled and you can start to get an idea of how they're gonna be put together and how the truck's uh, battery is gonna work. So thanks again for watching. Let your friends know if you think they'll like this content. We have a lot of new subscribers in the last couple months, so thank you very much for subscribing, and I hope you enjoy it. Leave a comment down below if you have some questions or comments or ways you want me to improve, and we'll see you next time. Thanks again. I got this. Yeah. And then play? Yep.